Okay. Good morning, everybody. My name is Maxim Kotin, as you probably know, and I'm a guy who writes books from time to time, as Kirill mentioned. Uh, and among other things, I am uh, responsible uh, for our global B2B marketing. And I want to share a few things with you about uh, our global activities. My keynote will be short, so don't uh, worry. And first I want to ask if you know who this um, nice and obviously smart uh, young woman is. And I can't still hear you right now, but I'm pretty sure that you don't. Though she is pretty established in her country, and her country is Mongolia, and her name is Bechimek, and she is a chess grandmaster in Mongolia and an uh, honored athlete of this country. And a few days ago, she wrote me, she sent me a letter asking if we think Dodo Pizza can be a good fit for Mongolia. And uh, this only goes to show that uh, we now see uh, the demand for our brand, our franchise from different, different countries and uh, different people. And I want to share just one uh, number with you. Over the course of uh, the last five months, we received more than 40 requests for uh, our franchise from uh, different countries where we are not actively selling our franchise yet. And uh, from, from countries like Israel and Nigeria, Canada and China, South Korea and Germany and so on. As uh, you can see, the range in, in, is pretty wide. It's uh, so-called third world countries, developing countries, it's established countries, it's, it's uh, West countries. So from everywhere. And uh, you might probably think that uh, actually all these requests are coming from Russian immigrants who want to open the, the pizza in their countries. And uh, a, a year ago, maybe even half a year ago, it was the case mostly. But right now we, uh, uh, we see uh, more and more requests from people who don't speak Russian and who uh, don't have any connections to Russian to Russia. And uh, why, why is this happening? It's pretty obvious because uh, we, our company has become pretty big and established. Our system-wide sales in 12 months uh, reached 172 million and uh, it's a pretty big number and we are the number one pizza chain in Russia and Kazakhstan and as we know, as you know uh, we are one of the fastest growing pizza chains in the world right now. We are growing faster than the fastest growing pizza chain in the States, which is Mod Pizza. So this all uh, makes our company visible, interesting, people uh, learn about us. And since we are transparent, we share a lot of stuff, we share our numbers and, uh, and uh, things that are happening to us. So. Uh, they learn about the, the pizza, about the, the, the IS, about our IT system and so on, about our culture. So they got interested and uh, uh, they write to us. And uh, the question is, what should we do with all these requests? Because uh, you know that uh, uh, we can't open uh, uh, countries uh, in just a few days. We have it takes months uh, for us to uh, to open a new country. We have to adapt our system. We have to start the market to tweak our menu and so on. And uh, we have this ultimate goal to be uh, everywhere in the world. But we have to carefully grow, uh, pace our growth. So what should we do? The, the, there could be. Uh, two main strategies. Uh, the one we could uh, name the top-down strategy when you start with the, uh, you, when you analyze uh, different markets and uh, in terms of how, how big they are, how fierce the competition is, how, uh, how similar they are to the, through the markets we are already in. So you analyze different markets, different countries and you pick uh, a few that you deem uh, hold the most potential for the brand and you focus on these countries and you open uh, uh, maybe an office in these countries and uh, launch some uh, marketing activities there trying to find partners. And that is not such a bad strategy at all, but there could be, uh, there, there is another option, the bottom-up strategy, when you 
don't start with this helicopter view, but you start from, from you, you begin with people. You find the right people uh, for your brand, and then you try to figure out the way for these people and our brand to be successful in where these people are. And I think you won't be surprised if I tell you that we are actually following the bottom-up strategy uh, because it's our culture, it's how Dodo Pizza was built, and you probably know that our first partner uh, who opened first Dodo Pizza outside Russia is Sergio Balakan from Romania. And uh, uh, it, it happened as far back as 2014, and uh, we didn't have back then any plans to go to Romania. It's obviously a pretty strange country to start your international uh, growth, but uh, we saw uh, that uh, Sergio was persistent, devoted, and uh, so uh, it, it, we actually made this partnership and uh, now we have a pretty good established business in Romania. So we are following the bottom-up strategy. We want to find the right people for our brand, but how do we do it? And, and who are these right people? And it's pretty actually simple. First, we want these people to share our values and uh, you know what they are, like transparency, our belief in, uh, in uh, the power of IT solutions, uh, our agile uh, culture, and uh, so on and so on. And uh, after that, after we see that uh, partners share our values, we want to know if they know the country and speak the language because some people they want to move to another country and open uh, a business there and uh, at this moment we think that it would be too risky for us and for for them because uh, we bring to the table our knowledge our expertise in in the pizza business our it system but the partners they would need to bring in uh, their understanding of the culture and if they lack this understanding, it can be too risky. And after, uh, and uh, also, we want to see some experience in retail, uh, uh, not only in management in general and in business in general, but uh, having some experience in retail is the best for us because it's an, one thing managing, uh, for example, an IT startup, and it's quite another thing managing a retail company and day-to-day -day operations at pizza shop. So uh, for some people, it can be too much of a leap to, to switch to, from, from like office job to, to a pizza shop. So the best case scenario is to have some experience in retail. And uh, so we know what we are looking for, who we are looking for. The, the question is, how do we do it? And it's, we, it's pretty simple. We have a simple workflow right now. We ask our prospective partners to fill in a short form where we want some basics about a person. And uh, then if we see that there is some potential, we arrange a Skype call. Then uh, we, if, if it goes well, we ask them to visit us in Moscow, to come to Moscow, to see our headquarters, to see the stores for themselves, to study the IT system and to meet with the team. And if this goes well, we proceed to actually negotiations and uh, trying to find out the way and the terms for our partnership. And that's how it's, it works uh, right now. And um, uh, you probably know that last week we signed a pre preliminary contract for a, for a uh, for a location for a new location in China, and uh, it won't be our uh, it won't be our first location in China. Our, 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 it will be our third actually, but it's a pilot, cutting edge, entirely new concept for us, and uh, so then. Five years ago, nobody could imagine that that this could happen. And the question is where we will be open in uh, uh, in five years from now, for example. And the answer is actually, who knows? Uh, we will have to see. And that's uh, about it. And that's all I had to. I wanted to share with you today. And I'm giving the floor to Sima Insikhtevka. Uh, goodbye.